Welcome to our CCPS Science Review Lab. Let's take a look at these two pictures. What do you suppose the relationship is between this picture and this picture? Well, here I've got an envelope and here I have Earth's atmosphere. Do you think those two things function in a similar way? Well, let's think about it. The purpose of our atmosphere is to completely surround our planet and protect it to keep it safe. An envelope completely surrounds a letter or a piece of mail and keeps it safe. Our atmosphere is responsible for trapping things like water and gases and heat that we need to maintain life on Earth. An envelope is responsible for trapping that letter or mail inside so that it stays safe and can get where it needs to go. So I guess I see some parallels between an envelope and our atmosphere. If you remember, our atmosphere has one, two, three, four, five layers. You probably want to pause the video right now and use this diagram to get these layers and maybe the whole model written into your notebook. The depth of each layer isn't super important. One thing you might want to take note of is that in between each of these letters, layers rather, there's also a pause. A pause is like a stop, right? So on the top of the troposphere would be the tropopause. The top of the stratosphere would be the stratopause. Mesosphere, mesopause. Thermosphere, thermopause. And then the exosphere gently becomes space. Now, let's remember a couple of important things about the troposphere. The troposphere is where all weather occurs. It's the part that we exist in. All life on Earth exists within the troposphere. Okay? All of our weather occurs within the troposphere. So it's pretty important for us. We talk about our stratosphere. Within there is also our ozone layer. Don't lose track of that. Remember that ozone layer is what's responsible for keeping out all of those harmful UV rays that radiate from the, the, sorry, from the sun through space. Okay, so those are some important landmarks that you need to remember when you're thinking about our atmosphere. Now, that being said, here's another model. Okay, now that blue area shows a part of our atmosphere that's a hole or a weak area in our ozone layer. What do you think could happen to Earth as a result of that hole? Huh, show what you know. Good luck.